carboxylic acids and alcohols react with one another to form an ester. The carboxylic acid can be recognized by its carboxyl functional group, COO. H. You can see here's the C bonded by a double bond to that O, and here we have the OH. An alcohol can be recognized by its functional group OH, the hydroxyl functional group. And what happens when these two react with one another is that this H here comes out and reacts with this OH here. So what's the product going to be if those react? And then the two main parts of those two compounds react with one another to form the ester. So this is shown in another way. We have the alcohol, the carboxylic acid. They react with one another and there are two products, the ester and this other thing. I hope you saw what it was. In case you haven't, here's another way of seeing this. So here we have the carboxylic acid. Here we have the C bonded by a double bond to the O, the carbonyl group which is part of the carboxylic functional group, and here the hydroxyl group, which is also part of the carboxylic functional group. And this part comes off. Meanwhile, here we have the alcohol with the hydroxyl functional group, and the hydrogen comes off, and they together form... Yes, I'm sure you saw it. They form water. Let's watch this. So we have the alcohol with its functional group OH. We have the carboxylic acid with its functional group COOH. And what happens as they react with one another? We get the breaking of the bonds. Water comes out. And then we get those two joining. And so now we end with the ester and the water. Now remember that this part used to be the alcohol and the alcohol part in the ester becomes the alkyl group. So in this case it would be methyl because there's only one carbon. And this part used to be the carboxylic acid and the carboxylic acid part becomes whatever O8. So in this particular example since there are two carbons that is ethan O8. So this would be methyl ethanoate. And water is also produced over there. And we call this kind of process esterification. And to cause it to happen, we need to add a sulfuric acid catalyst as well as heat. Sulfuric acid is a good dehydrating agent, meaning it's good at removing water from something. So that's why it's very obvious that it's a good idea to use sulfuric acid in this reaction because we're trying to remove water from these substances to make them react with one another to form the ester. So let's take an example. Here we have an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. We add sulfuric acid as the catalyst, the dehydrating agent. What are the two products going to be? The name of this alcohol is beautiful. Butan 1-ol and the name of the carboxylic acid is ethanoic acid. So butan 1-ol reacts with ethanoic acid in the presence of sulfuric acid to produce what? It forms water as one of the side products. Yes, the water comes out and then it forms an ester. This part here used to be the alcohol, so it is called alkyl now. And remember that was butan 1-ol. So it's now butyl. This part here used to be the carboxylic acid, and so it ends with O8. And it has two carbons, so it's ethanoate. Butyl ethanoate plus water. And we call that esterification.